Today I'm going to be building a liminal space walkthrough thingy with a spooky side to it. The map will be changing and something is following you. Alright, so what I'm trying to do is make a uh, liminal space, like walkthrough style. There's going to be like a monster and it's going to be like kind of stalking you from afar and you just that kind of barely see it out of the, co uh, the corner of your eye. There will be like sensors like seen through the floor to like sense where the player is. But the first level, what I want the first level to be is like not the back rooms, just like maybe, maybe like a dark office or something. Or it doesn't even need to have like an exact setting. It could be like a big room, the proportions could be off a little bit. Okay. I want the players to get like lost in it and stuff. I also want to make it kind of like at some points non -eu not Euclidean, non Euclidean. Like like the geometry doesn't make sense, and it's like the the, the hallway could like the room could swap behind them like really quickly, and then when they turn around they're like whoa, and I could like mess with them in many different ways. This disgusting green color. I could have like a long hallways with like a void at the end of it, and like you don't want to go over there. Client toilet, what does that mean? Whatever it is, they don't need it. This way, nothing happens. But if they squeeze through this way, a hallway appears. Does it still have to do with this? What, what changed? It's gonna get stuck on something else now. It's getting stuck on everything. thin hallway that you have to walk through just in a little gap in the wall. You could turn the corner in there. Once you turn the corner and you look back, it's just like a long hallway. Oh yeah. Still not strong enough. One over here. They're still sinking. It just needs like a lot of pistons. Barely sinking. It's, it's like slightly dipped. We could have like a piston down here holding it up. That's why we have all of these, right? We have this as, as being the on if off. And then this will be that. And how much will that affect the weight? But now this should look identical. That room goes down. Now once you're in here, you, you turn. And it looks the same. Like once it turns on, it just like moves away. They have, and basically it just goes like on, and just like violently rip it away. So you find this crack in the wall, you move through it, you move back, and it's a hallway. Into this one. This could have like a crack in the wall. So they drop down, and there's this, and they have to crouch under it. You just see in the distance like two legs. Yeah, could just have one of these short walls. Perfect, and then this can be crouched under. So we have a controller over here, and then that goes over there, and then and it does that at full speed. And if it if it sees uh, black, then it'll. Uh, okay, I see it over there. It's gone. And did this close up? Yes, perfect. The scariest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, but this is not. Why would this be on? Does this just? Does this just start on? No. It doesn't. I see how it is. I have to do this convoluted system where it just does that, and then it goes, you know, waits like a second after the game starts for this to even be valid. I think I'll just place the lights randomly around. Alright, this is, uh, good enough. It's very liminal. Look at this creepy room, and look at the end. There are feet. You can go take a look at them, and they're not there anymore. Isn't that kind of crazy? A little hole over here, and there's just a hallway. It's 
which is the hallway doing hallway things, and then uh, we have, um, I think it was this way, and there's gonna be a little bit of a crack, and if they crouch down to see what's in it, they see, like, a really dark void, and it's gonna make them feel unsafe. You could maybe even, like, angle in using a controller a little bit, force perspective angled in, just like a slight bit. Make it seem like it's longer than it actually is. And that's five degrees. That was just one degree. Yeah, that works. Black glass. Oh my god. What if the eyes like follow you as well? You just like move. And they're like fast kind of. Nah, it could be more. Oh, there he is have like a crawling sequence. Alright, so you go this way, and this one goes this way. A secret to this maze is actually that you gotta go this way. And you think that this will just lead you back, but it doesn't quite. It takes you around in a loop here. And this will be the way out. The idea is to have you dismiss this angle as just being like over here and then it goes this way and they go in the circle they get epic pranked in here but if they go backwards nah i don't know what i can do here that's scary it's dark and scary and then there could be a room with a large pit in it and then that'll be the no clipping to the next realm. And that's where it'll end. It could be like a little room with maybe an arrow or something pointing down into this wormhole. I could have it like spinning. Good. And there's gonna be an engine doing said spinning. And it's, it's gonna look all whimsical. It looks circular even though it's a square. And this will be the worm, the no clip wormhole. There'd be like an inner one as well. I'd rather just be held up by black concrete. The cannon wormhole from the back rooms that everyone knows. The iconic. And then you fall in. And this will end the end the challenge here. That's the way out. Yeah, it could be glowing purple. 